Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Telekinetic from Diamond Jim Tyler. Uh, what is this trick? Basically, uh, it's the acrobatic matches trick or the haunted matchbook effect. Uh, what Jim Tyler has done is he's taken that same approach to the deck of cards, to a box of cigarettes, and a couple of other more relevant things. Uh, you want to see what his trailer looks like? This is it. I'm Diamond Jim Tyler, and this is Telekinetic. All right, so that was Diamond Jim Tyler. If you don't know who he is, you've been living under a rock. He is a magician's magician. He's been around forever. Uh, he lives in Texas, and he's a creator. He's an inventor. He speaks. He's a lecturer. Uh, definitely want to check out Spinning Nickel or Diamond Monty or the Zap Wallet or his Forcing Guy. This effect was published from Vanishing Incorporated, and so a couple of questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews is, what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, you're going to get a little DVD sleeve. Okay, and then inside that, you're gonna get uh, the DVD. It's 24 minutes long. And you're also gonna get the utilities, I'll say that in plural, the things that you need to do this effect. Is it what I thought? Uh, yes and no. It is and it isn't. Um, I thought it was something that was hidden, but flimsy, and it's not. It is something though that is hidden and not flimsy. Does that make sense? I don't want to reveal it. I don't want to give it away. Um, if you think it's the cheap, flimsy, breakable stuff, you're wrong, okay? It's something else. Uh, and I, I was glad I was wrong. Uh, I was glad that uh, Jim Tyler took the time to find something that had a little bit more strength, a little bit more durability. And it is something that is readily available that you can find again and again when you need it. How are the angles? Um, if you're already familiar with the animated matchbook or the haunted matchbook, it's going to be the same uh, angles as that, okay? But uh, when Jim does it, he's actually able to do it so that the box can be handed out afterwards, which is a really cool addition. And so there's a way better cleanup, I think, on this, uh, way more thought put into this. And so it's definitely worth checking out. Can it be inspected? Like I just said, it can. Once the deck does its little dance and does its little animation, you're able to hand it out to a spectator they can examine it from one end to the other and never find a thing. What's the overall quality and production value? It's great. Uh, it looks like Jim Tyler is pretty much in his magic library. He's in his home. Um, he's teaching you right next to his pool table. It's pretty cool because he's got an old-fashioned pachinko machine in the background and an autographed picture of Steve Martin. So that's kind of uh, fun just to notice like in the background looking at his books and going, oh, look at that. Uh, uh, he's a great teacher. He's very patient, uh, very soft-spoken. Uh, and he really is able to effectively communicate everything you need to know. Is it well made? Uh, you partially make it, even though you get everything you need, you're not gonna get the card box. So you could do this with any card box in your library. Like you could use this with any deck of cards. Uh, so you're gonna have to put it together a little bit, but it's not difficult at all. And like I said, you're gonna be able to apply this same technology to other types of boxes, whether they be cigarettes, matchbooks, or cards, or business cards. How much practice does it require? Not much. Again, if you're already familiar with acrobatic matches or a haunted matchbook, it's that same movement, same almost hookup. Uh, and, and so I think a lot of us who've kind of had experience doing that trick before in the past, maybe in our infancy as magicians, uh, you'll feel right at home. How much setup and reset is there? <laughs> a little bit, there's a little bit, again, if you're already familiar with acrobatic matches or haunted matchbook, 
some of the setup and reset is, a little, is similar, and, uh, but it's not much, it's really easy. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to Telekinetic from Diamond Jim Tyler? Uh, Diamond Jim is someone every magician should get to know. He is an amazing teacher, and this new creation is no exception. Pick this up, and you'll be mystifying in no time. Negatives, what are the negatives to this? There aren't any, really, there aren't, there aren't any. He's giving you a quality product, He's giving you a great DVD. It's a really fun trick, and it's affordable. Can't go wrong. Is it worth your money? Absolutely. Uh, if you don't know the effect already, or you're looking to upgrade because you like this trick, but you want it to be in a little bit more of a relevant setting, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Who would like this? People that do strolling, people that do walk around, street magicians, restaurant magicians, I think would all like this. Card magicians especially, who want to add a little bit of whimsy uh, to their uh, routine, would definitely like Telekinetic from Diamond Jim Tyler. All right, so that is my review for Telekinetic from Diamond Jim Tyler and Vanishing Incorporated. As always, I want to thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this trick so that I can do the review for you. And if you want to find it for yourself, you can find it from one of your favorite Murphy's Magic dealers. Thanks, bye.